the TED Talk took me to a different level mm -hmm. and it exposed me to a lot more people. And millions. they're fully millions millions, 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 millions. I mean, I think the last time I checked, it's way over four million. It's growing every yeah. day. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's crazy. It's, and, and like there's videos in different languages that each have a million hits. And you're like, wow, why did this resonate with this group of people? But, um, people are aware that they can't make fun of the disability because I address it. Mm. So instead they keep calling me fat. And it's been horrifying and really hard to recover from. And I, I even came on here today not wearing makeup purposely mm -hmm. because I just felt like I need people to understand that it's what we're talking about and not what I look like. And I, I, I'm fully aware that other girls with CP might not have the luxury of going to MAC and getting their makeup done you know, to go to an interview. I actually can do my own makeup. It's terrifying. You should watch me put on <laughs> eyeliner. It's fantastic. But um, people have been really, really horrendous about my weight. And it's funny because I don't consider myself fat. I work out. I eat healthy. But I have no ab muscles. So one of the reasons I can't stand is because my back is so weak from my disability. So people see this belly and they sit there and they say, I don't understand. Her face is skinny, but she's so fat. She would be so beautiful if she wasn't fat. And instead of going on and prepping for TV, like I always had in the past, where I was like, what am I gonna talk about? Yeah. It's totally become, what am I gonna wear? How am I gonna sit? How am I gonna hold in my stomach? How am I gonna, and it's really taken over my psyche in a way that I had to like step back and be like, okay, People need to understand that we don't all look like supermodels and that in reality I am healthy. I'm not a size, you know, 57 or something and it's kind of ridiculous that people attack me on a daily basis for my weight. And it was like, we can't make fun of her being disabled. We can cut her down in a different way. We absolutely have to focus on the physical because there's no way that this person who should be inferior should be excelling. So I need to find something that I can tear her down for. You make me want to cry and I'm just, I'm first of all thrilled and I just want to thank you for talking about all this because especially for women, no matter what age, what size we are, what we look like, it's like the thing that we start to focus on the most. And mm -hmm. I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for coming on with no makeup and coming on and talking about this because it's vital. And I've so many times said to myself, for no reason, like I hate how I look. I think every woman in America has. So thank you for having the courage. On the flip side, I yeah. want to talk about something we talked about when I walked in, which yeah. was, I also have the ability to admit when I don't look good. Yeah. And it happens. Like, we were talking about how I, I went to do this thing called the Thrive Com yes. Conference, yes. and I had a makeup and outfit fail. <laughs> and I, I put up that picture, and I said, this is a teachable moment. I shall never wear leopard on television again. And people were like, no, you look beautiful. No, you look fantastic. I saw and you I and you like, did it in person. In real life, yes. but I'll, I'll send that video. It's, okay. <laughs> it, it's hard, it's hard to look at. <laughs> and I said to them, I also have the ability to go, no, no, we're not going to do that again. And it's like you and I were talking about how we had big hair totally. in high school. I can look at that picture and go, no, bad choice. <laughs> no, I don't have to look at it. So we also have to have the ability to realize, and I think that this is missing with kids these days, that you don't always bat a thousand. You're yeah. not always a hit. Sometimes you do look horrible and you should fix it. You know, <laughs> you can't just be like, no, I'm beautiful. And it doesn't matter that this red lipstick makes me look like I ate a rat on the subway. <laughs> like you have to be able to be self-critical, but not to the point where you're self-destructive.